You know, I'm just here eating my yogurt. Not trying to bother anybody. But honestly, I think that you are putting your vagina through so much because of your panties. You don't take care of your panties and your vagina hates you for it. If your vagina could talk. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey gorgeous, welcome to my channel. I'm Kapana Shmangia and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment, use it as advice, take it. Don't take it, use it. Don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. Do you know why? You know why? Because nah, ek, I, no professional. No professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Honeys, today we're talking about feminine hygiene and our panties. You know how much I love my panties. I'm the panty advocate. I'm the spokesperson for panties. Good, clean, beautiful, sexy panties. But there's things that we are doing with our underwear that is causing our vaginas to be unhappy with us. If our panties could talk, if our vaginas could talk, they'd be like, I hate you for doing this to me. Literally, literally. It's the worst thing ever. And these are common mistakes that I feel like I've made a number of these mistakes before. And we can overcome we can overcome these mistakes can lead to smelly vaginas sticky vaginas cheesy fishy fruity you know ooh, vaginas ooh, it's it's tmi i am going there i am going there i'm going to be very honest because it's our vaginas and it's our panties let's get into it number one is ignoring the stains yeah, I said it. Stains. Most of us are going to stain our panties when we wear them. Okay? Most days, there is just a little bit of something. There's almost always some sort of liquid that comes out of our vaginas. It's normal. It's discharge. However, we're not looking at it. So you take off your panty and you must assess assess there that cotton strip that's there. We're going to get to that cotton strip in a second. But that cotton strip, I'm assuming you're wearing cotton underwear. That cotton strip right there that goes right over the vagina. What color is the situation on that sister right there? If it is clear, it is normal. Okay, so clear, slightly off clear, it's okay, it's normal. But if it is foamy, creamy, kind of like pus, if it is green or gray, cottage cheese, it's a problem. The problem cottage cheese is like almost like creamyish um cheese but then it has like little bits of it you know it has little little balls in it so if it just discharge has a color and has a texture to it that it's either foamy it's like pus or it's like cottage cheese that's when you know that there's some sort of infection or there's something that i need to check out with my gynae please don't be scared to go check out a gynae if you're scared to go to your gynae, go to a GP. A lot of the times, like your cottage cheese discharges, they're quite common. So you go to a GP and the GP will help you. So go to your normal doctor and just let them know that, listen, I think there's something up with the little girl down there. Because when I look at my panty, I see this. Okay? It's normal. It's okay. I've got a very sensitive vagina. I sit on the wrong toilet and I've got a cottage cheese discharge. I tell you right now. So there's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't be scared to go to your gynae. Don't be scared to go to a doctor and tell them that, listen, it's a bit funky down there. It's okay, girl. Number two is ignoring the smell. Yes, when you take off your bendy, not only are you analyzing what it looks like, you're also going to smell it. You're literally going to take it and just smell it. You can also smell when you stand up. If there's an odor or a scent, when you've sat in a place for long and you stand up and there's an odor, Mm -hmm. you need to have something checked out if there's a slight smell it's normal it's okay it's a vagina it's letting out some juices every now and again and everybody has some sort of natural scent it's not going to smell like flowers but it's not going to smell like fish either so slight smell okay but if there's a distinct odor foul smell if it's a bit fishy down there 
but it's a bit fruity down there that's when you need to go talk to someone you need to smell your panties guys so, i mean we think about all these things where we see like these serial killers and stuff and they're like on women's underwear but to be honest with you we should be smelling our panties like we shouldn't let men smell our panties we should be smelling our own panties and just be like okay it's fine usually when there's like a slight odor it's, you can't really smell it that much but as soon as there's a distinct smell you, you wave and you're just like Woo! that's when you need to just take it out we all have a different smell we really do we all have a different smell down there and it's okay it's not gonna smell like it's not gonna smell like roses it's okay it's not gonna smell like flowers it's okay however no distinct sour sour foul smell that's when you know that you need to go talk to someone about it number three is not washing out bendies properly now if you throw your underwear into a washing machine okay and you wash it bacteria can actually survive that sometimes it can if you're not washing it on an extra hot setting the bacteria on your panties can actually come out and survive and be like i'm ready and it does happen so you want to avoid this by washing it on a hot cycle or if not you want to then take them from the washing machine into a tumble dryer just so you can put that heat on it so you can kill all those bacteria. now personally i find that if you wash your underwear with with water that is too hot then it ruins the underwear it doesn't last it it loses its elasticity your lace just becomes all messed up it is just the worst thing so i wash my underwear myself on the day that i take it off so if i'm taking a shower i literally take it off and there i am i'm hushunking, washing my own panties in the shower outside of the bath when i bath when i get out of the bath i take it and i wash it and hand washing your underwear makes sure that it lasts a little longer and this is something that i personally do and i do it with a gentle soap using a gentle soap and the reason why i use a gentle soap is because the chemicals from a fabric um, softener and from a washing detergent can also cause some itchiness and some you know disturbance down there and i'm sensitive so if i use something like a dab body soap on my underwear it comes out clean and also it prevents me from having all of that itchiness and irritation because i get irritated quite quickly and quite regularly also if you're washing your underwear one at a time you get to look at it you get to see it you get to smell it you get to experience the whole thing and make sure that it is super clean no residue left over no soap left over no no nothing left over you need to put it in soap at least for 20 seconds it needs to be in soap for a minimum of 20 seconds Hoshonka meaning that you rubbing it a little bit just to make sure that whatever's in that cotton comes out and then you rinse it to make sure everything comes out nice warmish water rinse your binky should be happy that's what i personally do but if you like to throw your underwear into a washing machine make sure that it is warm and make sure that your fabric detergent isn't the thing that's actually causing irritation down there and this is just connected to number four which is fragrance and perfume from fabric softeners and detergents a lot of the times i know that quite a few ladies will use a washing machine to wash their underwear and then they'll put in a fabric softener or a detergent that they use to clean and it will have a fragrance or a perfume in there and those two things vaginas hate fragrances and perfumes i know some people like to spray things around the area but remember the cotton part of your bendy goes right against your sister right right up there so if you like to if you're the type of person who likes to use perfumes around this area it's better that's fine but not on the cotton area of your underwear it causes irritation you might be the type of person who has a constant yellowy discharge and it might be because you have a constant irritation so if you want to get rid of the constant irritation or the itchiness or the slight odor try to wash your underwear without perfume and without strong chemicals use a soft soap and make sure that the soft soap also doesn't have any chemicals in it and doesn't have doesn't have any perfumes or any fragrances in it if you avoid those things you're in a better chance of your vagina just being so happy just all day every day on some hallelujah i 
am happy in this panty, in this panty, in this panty. Number five is the choices you make with your panties. Choosing thongs over seamless underwear. Let me tell you about thongs, girl. The thong, the thong, thong, thong. Thongs used to be the thing, and I get it. That super thin, like that thin string that goes right in between the thumbs, ne? And then that string basically opens up into a little little triangle that covers the vagina. Now, the thing about the thong is, yes, if you're wearing a certain dress and a thong is like one of the only things that's gonna help you from avoiding painty lines. But we have better underwear technology these days. We have seamless underwear, which is not necessarily a thong, but is very nice and thing. I'll put an example of it. So these type of underwears, it's not a thong where it's a string, but it is something that's got a bit more cloth. Now, why it is a mistake to go for like your super thin thongs as opposed to your thicker G-strings is that, you see the thong there? That string there, it can do something <laughs> where the bacteria from the butthole is transferring to the bacteria in the vagina hole. And that is nasty. And it happens. It really does happen. Bacteria from the bodice going down to the bacteria in the vagina. Because there's just such little string and fabric in that area from the bum to the vagina, it happens. Transfer bacteria, honey. So rather have something that's got a bit more fabric in it to try look for your seamless underwear or just don't wear underwear on that day. Number six, your panties are too small and too tight. See, when you're wearing like pants that are too tight, right? And then you sit down, you can feel that it's like doing this. It's like constraining the vagina. And what happens is the vagina can't breathe. Vaginas love breathing. So you have this tight binky or these tight pants, tight jeans, just tightness in that area and you go to work and you're sitting down for four hours, three hours at a time. You get up, you pull everything down and you try and make everything work for yourself. Your vagina is stressed. It is just hot. It is moist. It is just unhappy in that area. And if you do this regularly, this can lead to an un unhappy vagina. So try, your panties actually don't have to be tight. They just have to sit on you. And that's why it's important for you to get the right underwear. If you find that you get a wedgie, a tzwape, on a regular basis where the underwear just slips to the middle of your bum and you always have to pull it out, your underwear is too small. Even if it's just one side. You know, you have you have your bikini underwear it's like this and the, and the panty just the side just keeps coming into the middle of your bum and you constantly have to put it out, it's too small. Your underwear should just sit, right? On your bum, around your vagina, not necessarily holding it too tight. That's how you know if your underwear is the right size. That doesn't mean that it's big for you, it doesn't mean that there's extra fabric around it because then it is too big, it is weird. But try and wear things that, don't wear a lot of tight things all the time. Alternate, if you like wearing your tight jeans, Tight jean on one day and then the other day let it breathe with a skirt or a dress or something. Your vagina loves breathing. And this just leads me to my next point. Number seven is that your crotch is not cotton. We love different designs of panties and we just love how they look, right? Great, so we have our, our lace, we have different synthetic fab fabrics, fabrics, and then the, the crotch area, so the part that goes right on top of the vagina, that must always be cotton. No two ways about it. Cotton or bamboo, okay? There's a bamboo fabric that's absolutely amazing. It's nice, it's soft, it's breathable. The whole point is that your vagina must always breathe. And what happens with these synthetic fabrics is that as soon as they get slightly damp in any way, right? Guys, our vaginas get damp. We see the right guy and he looks sexy and we have emotions on the inside. All of a sudden, we're juicy. I told you, TMI, we're gonna talk about it. So if it's not normal, if it's not normal discharge and you're not being turned on or anything like that, there is like a wetness that comes out from our vagina, right? And then when that wetness happens, the synthetic fabrics close off. 
they don't breathe but with the cotton it still continues to breathe even if there is a slight bit of discharge or wetness down there and the same with bamboo fabrics so that's why have your lace have all your different types of underwear but the crotch area must be cotton respect the vagina just make your pinkies cotton and finally number eight we like to chill in sweat or wet panties now if you go to the gym and you don't wear underwear when you go to the gym it's a good thing because your vagina is going to continue to breathe and have air your vagina is going to be very happy and very thankful to you for not wearing underwear when you go to the gym however you can still sweat in that area get out of your sweaty clothing get out of your wet underwear asap again the vagina is already like the self-cleaning you know intelligent ecosystem down there but it still needs to breathe the vagina loves to breathe that's why at night don't sleep with your undies on sleep without your underwear on if you're the type of person who's sensitive like i am sleeping without underwear on oh my vagina loves me for sleeping without underwear it, i wake up in the morning and i don't have as much discharge as usual my smell has changed it's just all around happiness so get out of any wet underwear as soon as possible it could be because of sweat and sweat can happen during the day i know that it happens to me like randomly throughout the day when i'm just moving through my day it's a hot day and i feel sweaty down there come back home and i've got a, i've got like a sweaty nyana underwear i take it off take it off let your vagina breathe she'll love you for it my honeys that's all i have for you today i hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you enjoyed my brown setting <laughs> um look the most important thing about our vaginas and our panties is breathing give the vagina a she loves it she'll thank you for it she'll just be all types of happiness because you let her breathe that's the main point i hope that you guys enjoyed this one let me know if there's anything that you want me to talk about in the next video we have one big rule here and that is to share you must share this with one friend tweet instagram whatever it is share this video with a friend who needs to hear all about it until next time bye hey gorgeous thank you so much for watching my video and thank you for making it to the end now if you're not subscribed click on this button i do not know why you watch my videos without subscribing if you want to ask what question i should answer in my next video head over to my community page there are posts you can comment in my videos leave me a comment and let me know what subject you want me to talk about in my next video because this whole show is about you send me, sending me a question and me doing a video all about it darling until next time mwah.